Hi, Nick here from Team Hutchinson Ford. In front of me today, we have team Ford Ranger XLT, presented in the colour here, silver ingot. Uh, this vehicle features a 3.2 litre common rail turbo diesel engine that produces 170 kilowatts of power and 470 newton metres of torque. Um, so those power figures, you've got plenty of power up front, you can tow pretty much anything up to 3.5 tonne. Um, this is the 4x4 model, it also has a 6 speed automatic transmission. At the front we've got power projector headlamps, uh, spotlights and uh, front parking sensors. Very handy for when nudging forward as it, uh, you can see the bonnet does slip away a little bit. Um, so they're really handy when parking up against a wall or um, anything like that. We've got the factory 17 inch alloy wheels with plenty of tread left on the tyres. You can still see the line, um, the chalk line on them. It's only travelled just over 6,000 k's. Uh, so we'll have a little look on the inside. Side steps, nice and tidy. Driver, passenger and side curtain airbags for a 5 star safety rating, no rips or tears in the seats. Uh, plastics and carpets are all in good condition also. And in the rear as well, Isofix located in the base of the uh, rear seats for any um, child restraints. At the base of the centre console we've also got a 230 volt and a 12 volt, so if you need to charge a laptop or anything like that, and another 12 volt. There's a... Uh, there is four of them around the vehicle, we've got two in the front, one in the back, and then one in the, um, the tray. Fleet line canopy uh, with sliding windows and dog mesh on the inside, it's colour coded, all lockable as well. Deck liner uh, and everything in, uh, in the back here as well. Looks like it hasn't even been used, it's very very nice and shiny. Uh, and then the final 12 volt is just in that corner there. So we've got reversing camera and reversing sensors, uh, which I'll show you when we jump in. And tow bar and wiring raid to three and a half ton. Let's jump on in and start the vehicle. Two full sets of keys, uh, driver's mat, automatic headlights. We've got a digital screen on either side of the dash there as well. So the kilometers are 6,319 and 16. Uh, so on the right hand side we have our, our display mode, this can display our rev counter, uh, we can also go through change all the settings on here, distance, length, speedometer, uh, we can go back further, go trip computer, fuel economy, uh, there's different modes in all of these, driver assist and change some settings if we need to. On the other side we have an extension of our SYNC 3 which is our 8 inch touchscreen in the centre, um, but in this this is broken up into entertainment so we can change, um, change what we're listening to on the steering wheel here navigation which will give us a compass uh, or if we have a destination set in our navigation over on the main screen and um, we'll have our next direction pop up uh, on that screen there and then finally phones so we can uh, call people back bring people from our contacts all, all on the steering wheel without needing to take our hands off the wheel so left hand screen works these controls right hand works these ones also on the steering wheel we have all our cruise controls there on the left we have our audio phone bluetooth and voice activation uh, voice activation is really handy on this new SYNC 3 system, works a lot better than the old SYNC 2, uh, picks up our New Zealand accent a little bit better, um, but I'll give you a quick uh, show of that at the end. Leather wrapped steering wheel with electrically assisted steering, very easy to turn corners and sitting here you can spin the wheel with just one finger, um, so it's just to show you uh, how easy it is to drive one of these. I'll come to the SYNC screen last, I'll just quickly go over the controls below. Um, so we've got our audio controls along here with single CD player. Air conditioning can be done down here or it can be fully controlled on the screen above. Two 12 volts, two USBs. Uh, parking sensors, we can turn them off if they're getting annoying. Uh, traction control if we need to turn it off. Rear diff lock if we do get really stuck. And hill descent control uh, for if we're going down uneven um, surfaces uh, on an angle. Shift on the fly four wheel drive so we can change between two high and four high up to 60 k's an hour um, but then we do have to stop uh, for four low. Six speed automatic with uh, sequential select shift mode so there's the reverse camera uh, with the guidelines that will move. Um, but I'll quickly just show sync 3. So home button this takes you home. Uh, as you see we've got a bit of a summary, we've got our entertainment here. Phone will appear here when it's connected and our sat nav is there. We've got our, our toolbar on the bottom if we want to go into anything or we can just click on uh, this section there. 
all of this can be voice activated as well so you can ask it to find an address for you or find, uh, find uh, we'll just go back to home screen and I'll show you so you press the voice activation button please say a command I'm hungry where would you like to search please say nearby or in a town nearby please say a line number and then you say a line number and it will direct you to somewhere to go to go eat. So if you hit Samurai Bowl. When ready, use the voice button and then say set as destination. Uh, so then you just hit set as destination or hit start and it will take me there. Um, so that's a cool feature. You can also use that to call people, um, change the temperatures, change what you're listening to, change the presets, change it to your Bluetooth, to your phone. Uh, and then there's settings all at the back if you need to change it. Uh, so if this vehicle is of any interest to you, please don't hesitate. To give us a ring on 0800 by Ford if you'd like to come and view this vehicle in person, Team Hutchinson Ford, we're located at 186 Cherm Street in the central city of Christchurch.